This is six feet apart. It is a microprocessor based device that's embedded in a hat. Whenever somebody crosses that six foot range, the um, program and the microprocessor uh, is alerted. I would love to come to India as soon as the COVID-19 pandemic is over. So this is six feet apart. It is a microprocessor based device that's embedded in a hat. And I'm currently working on getting different casings and making the device smaller to fit in things like uh, jewelry or lanyards and also badges. So on the inside, there is an ultrasonic sensor, um, a microprocessor and a breadboard with a buzzer and also a nine volt battery. And the device works in a way that, so, Essentially, um, I coded a program, an Arduino program, that uh, causes these ultrasonic sensors to send out pulses of ultrasonic waves. Now, when these waves collide with a, a person within that six-foot detection range, uh, these raw data calculations are converted to a distance reading that we can understand as a six-foot distance or less. So whenever somebody crosses that six-foot range, the um, program and the microprocessor uh, is alerted and the buzzers begin to vibrate and beep to let the user know that they are not within the safe social distancing range. And right now I'm working on developing a Bluetooth app that can send the same um, notifications to your phone as well and keep a track of that history. My uh, current plan that I'm working on right now is to use infrared imaging as well, as well as neural networks and image processing to say, okay, this is the heat map of a person. So a person would obviously em emit more infrared radiation and more basically heat than uh, an inanimate object. And so using neural networks and using different algorithms to say, okay, with a 99% confidence or 95% confidence, this is most likely going to be a human and this is going to be an object. So that's what I'm working on right now. But as it is right now, the device is pretty accurate. So the um, infrared imaging is just sort of a way to make it almost guaranteed to be safe for all users. What inspired my idea for creating Six Feet Apart was how I noticed that the COVID-19 pandemic was worsening exponentially and how millions of lives were being lost. And what really struck me was the fact that someone could lose their life just because of a careless mistake of not social distancing correctly. So I wanted to do something about it. And I uh, set out to create a social distancing device that utilizes ultrasonic sensors and microprocessors to detect when a person crosses that six foot detection range and alert the user through uh, vibrating and beeping buzzers. So the device essentially uh, prevents or slows the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic by keeping social distancing to the CDC's guidelines of a six foot distance. In terms of my next steps for the device, I have, uh, my device is patent pending currently and I'm working on getting um, partners, strategic partners. So I have partnered with Girls with Impact to share my innovation and entrepreneurship story. And I've also attended their prestigious entrepreneurship academy. Um, I've also seen some interest uh, within some various technology as well as hat making companies. So uh, for instance, one of the, uh, there's an artisan hat making company that sells these like leather fedora type hats. And they're also looking to um, uh, partner with me as well as do some beta testing to see um, see where this device can be implemented outside of uh, the traditional like baseball hat and looking at <laughs> looking at maybe um, in different audiences of like maybe celebrities or something like that. But uh, we're looking at strategic uh, partners as well as um, 
I'm always working on my device and improving it. So right now I'm looking at using infrared imaging to make it even more effective than it is right now. Um, make a Bluetooth app as well as different ways to carry the same device, like putting the device in a necklace. So it could be used by um, maybe people who wouldn't wear a hat or maybe if you wouldn't wear a hat indoors or something like that. So different casings and different methods to make it even more accessible. I was thinking, so when I created this device, I, was, I had in mind social distancing, obviously, as a whole. But um, in terms of implementing it, really places I would love to see it being implemented would be for frontline workers, for social distancing with them, as well as vulnerable populations like the elderly or the immune compromised. But also for me, as, as I see my schools reopening in the fall, social distancing is something that they are using as a key to prevent viral transmission. So having a way to quantify that and say this is actually six foot distance and having stu uh, school students and school teachers wearing the device or using it would be a really amazing way to control the spread of the virus um, in schools and in the community. I, I play piano. I've been playing piano since I was about five years old. Um, I also tinker around with the acoustic guitar um, and that's always really fun. I love to paint and play around with my younger sister in the backyard. So I, I, do, I do some things that are <laughs> normal for teenagers my age. <laughs> I really don't know yet. I mean, I don't have a specific career in mind and I think that's one of the most beautiful things there is. Uh, just having full open uh, field of possibilities. But right now, I'm looking into combining my love for STEM with business and finance as a career someday. The reason that I made Six Feet Apart, the reason that as a 15-year-old, I'm working on science and innovation is because I want to make a difference in my community, but also throughout the world. And the opportunity to save lives and really make an impact on people's lives, especially people during the COVID-19 pandemic is something that I'm really passionate about. And I'm always looking to find solutions to really big problems. And that's really what drives me to do science and what drives me to innovate. I was born in the US. However, I've, I've visited India almost every summer and I've lived in India for several years as well. A lot of my, actually most of my family lives in India. So I, I love visiting and I love being there because the culture is so nice. The people are amazing and I, it's just a wonderful place to be. So it, it's, it's a physical and emotional connection to India. I would love to come to India as soon as the COVID-19 pandemic is over, you know, see all my family and see my newly born cousins and my married uncles and aunts and everything like that. So it's, I, I, I do love being in India and I can't wait to be there um, once the COVID-19 pandemic is over. My whole family, in, in terms of support for my family, my whole family has been extremely supportive and, you know, encouraging of all my scientific pursuits. And one, one person that really stands out to me is my mom. She, I always run my ideas by her and she is so inspiring in her story that she you know attended IIT and then she attended Harvard and she's now in consulting and it really inspires me that a woman is doing so much um, in her field and she is so in, like that whole story is so inspiring to me so I I always live by my mother's principles and she always encourages my innovations and my desire to help other people using STEM so uh, but my whole family is very, very supportive and have always been since I was very young.